Welcome to Minute Liturgy, a quick Bible study you can do on your way to Mass that quickly improves focus during the best hour of the week. This Sunday's Mass is about the baptism of Jesus Christ. All right, to be honest with you, the USCCB website has a lot of like this or that options on the readings, so I might be even reading the wrong readings. But it's about the baptism of Christ, and it's about how our Lord, how our Savior is coming into the world and in what manner He would be coming into the world. So just keep in mind those things as you hear the readings. I'm just being kind of general about it. My tip to get into the readings is to put yourself in the place of John the Baptist. Okay? Just think about what John the Baptist must be going through and use him as an example for how we would be acting in our life in response to this amazing promise and gift of salvation that God has given us. So John the Baptist is the regular guy. He doesn't have powers, right? We can't really put ourselves in Jesus' place because... Uh, well, it's Jesus, right? Everybody should be focusing on Jesus and looking at him and being in awe of the Holy Spirit and the dove and then the whole moment where God was like, I'm so proud of him, that's my son, and with the booming voice and all that. Imagine the Lion King and Mufasa coming out and into the clouds and telling Simba that he's his son and all that stuff. So put ourselves in the presence of the Lord when we go to Mass and kind of put ourselves in the character of John the Baptist. So just imagine John the Baptist waking up that day, getting ready for work, maybe being kind of tired. You know, the sleep felt extra nice because it's cold outside. So he hears the alarm, goes, okay, it's time to get up. I'm going to go baptize some folks today. Right, he's in a rush to get there. He gets in his car, thinks that he's, he's making good time on the way to work, and he realizes that he's eh, looking at a text message that just came in, and he sees those flashing lights, right? So he sees those flashing lights and gets pulled over. Uh, sir, do you know why I stopped you? No, sir, I, I don't. You fit a description. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm, I'm off to work now. What's your name? I'm, I'm John. I have a warrant here for John the Plumber. Like, no, I'm, I'm John the Baptist. You know, I hope you find John the plumber later on in the day, but I got to go baptize some folks. Like, oh, sorry, sir, my mistake. All right, so John, he finally pulls into the parking lot by the River Jordan where he's about to go baptize some folks. And Jesus Christ is standing right there. Right? Jesus Christ is there. And he's like, hey, folks, remember the person that I said that I, I wouldn't even be worthy to untie his sandal? Yeah, he's right there. So, Jesus, you know, you should be the one baptizing me. And then Jesus is like, no, it's you because you're John the Baptist. That's like, like, that's what your name is. So you do that thing. And then. He baptizes Jesus, and then there's that big moment, okay? Just put yourself in John's position. Just uh, be in awe of John's humility, and we learn to have that kind of humility. Our 15 minutes of fame is about to end, and we're, are, we are going to decrease so that Jesus can increase. There's, uh, there's an example that I heard in a sermon one time, that there's, there's that painting of Jesus that you see most of the time. There's that painting of Jesus that you see more than the other paintings of Jesus. And 
instead of looking at it and breaking down the, oh, he did, I like how he used the brush strokes and then he used the light and his light source came from the left or no, it was, it was from the right and then it lights up his face and then it's dark on one half. And the, instead of looking at it like that and breaking it down, we just think about Jesus. Like instead of seeing brush strokes, we see Jesus. And that's what we need to do with our work. We should do it so well that they don't break down what we do at work, but they see Jesus in what we do. They see Jesus in what we do. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. 